Today we're driving the 2022 BMW Alpina B8 Grand Coupe. This is a 612 horsepower bi-turbo V8 powered monster. All wheel drive, four wheel steering. We have an eight speed ZF automatic transmission. If you don't know already, Alpina takes BMWs off the assembly line, takes them to their own factory and gives them their special treatment. Whether that's an engine tune, some internals, suspension work, exhaust and interior trimmings as well as exterior aerodynamics. They're a little bit more comfortable than their BMW counterparts. This is kind of based on the 850i, the same 4.4 liter bi-turbo V8, but it's about as fast and as uh, expensive as an M8. So uh, I think I quite like this a little bit more than the M8. It's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more special feeling and looking inside and out. So let's walk you around this Alpina B8 Grand Coupe. Today we have uh, some pretty impressive specs, a very impressive driving experience, and we'll, uh, we'll show you guys what that's like in a little bit. First though, one of the highlights for me with this car is this gorgeous bluestone, frozen bluestone metallic paintwork. It's a $5,000 option. I think this is absolutely a stunning design from Alpina and BMW, especially in this paint. It really accentuates some beautiful lines with the car. Alpina's added a lower lip spoiler to the bottom of this bumper that says Alpina in it. It's subtle, it's classy. These massive wheels look just amazing. 20 spoke, 21 inch alloy wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0s. This rear bumper is probably my favorite angle of this car. I like how this is all painted too. You've got a little bit of a rear diffuser down there. Let's pop the trunk. Decent amount of space in there. You can fold down those rear seats. I was never really a big fan of the 8 Series Coupe, but if I'm being honest, this Grand Coupe makes a lot more sense. Rear seats aren't massive back here, and you really only do have a 2 plus 2 configuration. But it makes for that much more of a sporty experience behind the front driver's seats. Ingress is a little bit difficult. The C pillar is quite low. The seat bottoms slope pretty low. We have a nice sporty looking seat back. We get window shades for the rear and the side. Look at that, a little bit of privacy, which is always nice. Rear climate control, heated seats, a couple USB-C ports. Pretty special view of the front seats. Here's what our cup holder looks like. this white Alcantara headliner. It's just so bright, so airy, really brings an openness to this cabin. This uh, full merino white leather interior is just gorgeous. Ambient lighting too throughout. I've set this to also match the interior to be white. Oh yeah, starting price on this, 140 grand as tested just shy of 156. So not cheap, but less than, uh, quite a bit less than the BMW M8 that we tested a couple years ago. All right, let's take this for a drive. We'll walk you around the front seat just a little bit, show you a couple features, but for the most part, this is pretty similar to a lot of the other Alpinas that we've driven and tested. We have a Bowers and Wilkins premium sound system. Sounds very nice. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility, wireless charging, cup holders. Not in the best place if I'm being honest. You can't really put a large drink in here, but this is a German car after all. People don't drink in their German cars on the Autobahn. And that's really what this Alpina B8 is for. I think it can maintain a speed of 201 miles an hour. Yeah, 612 horsepower will do that. All the materials, all the touch points, the steering wheel. Ooh, this is a highlight for me. It's just about the perfect girth. Sometimes BMW wheels can be a little bit overly thick. I think this is just about right. And of course, you get the Alpina stitching on the bottom and the top, green and blue, as well as a specific Alpina gauge cluster that changes 
with different drive modes. Ooh, let's listen to that with the windows down. <laughs> this exhaust is just fantastic. The rest of this is very BMW. Top-notch materials, love the finishing and surfacing everywhere. We get a heated steering wheel, which is very nice. No sunroof because we have the carbon roof option. Actually, let's show you that real quick because it's pretty special to look at. Ooh, and we'll pop the hood. Yes. We'll include all the pricing and specs for all the options in the description. Look at those intakes. <laughs> What a beast. All right, ooh yeah, nice lightweight aluminum hood too. All right, let's take this for a drive. Should be a good time. We'll have to mind our speed. All right, let's get started. Into reverse, we've got a small 360 camera and reverse camera. Pretty good visibility all around. I just love the way this B8 goes down the road. The four wheel steering, the weight of everything. These Pirellis are pretty sticky, so they pick up a lot of rocks and dirt, but part of the experience. I found this to be a very enjoyable car to just wheel around this week from putzing around downtown under 30 miles an hour to doing some pulls on the highway. It is very capable in all environments. Ooh, yes, look at that turning radius, very impressive. We have a few different drive modes. Right now we're in comfort. There's also a comfort plus mode for an extra comfortable setting. We have sport plus, sport individual, and sport. You can configure individual with a bunch of different parameters from uh, changing your steering weight, damping, engine tuning, transmission tuning. And there's also an adaptive mode that predicts the driving scenario that you're in. I think we'll probably just leave it in sport. We don't have paddle shifters, but we have paddle, well, we have shift buttons behind the steering wheel. Alpine has done that for quite some time, and they've stuck with that uh, in keeping with their heritage in this B8. It's so fast, but also so smooth. It just gets the dot. It just gets the job done in a way that's pretty unmatched. my foot down this week I've just found myself to be in awe of the performance and the speeds and the number on the dashboard from the handling to the grip to the way this car just feels going down the road the, the driving experience is pretty top-notch I think this is my favorite Alpina that I've driven yet we've driven the B7 that was very impressive a lot more luxurious a little bit heavier feeling that's based on the 7 Series. And then we drove the XB7, which is just a big old SUV with a ton of power. Same engine, same powertrain as this. And uh, this B8 Grand Coupe tops both of those in terms of performance. And 
I think fun to drive factor. This is really an amazing vehicle. Let's try Sport Plus. You're just hit with this wave of power. torque everywhere in this power band. Virtually no turbo lag from the Spy Turbo 4.4 liter V8. You can feel the suspension stiffen up just a little bit in sport mode, more so in sport plus, but sport is a really nice balanced setting. Transmission has a sport mode when you flip the gear lever over. Look at this grip, this is just insane. There are very few vehicles that take those entrance ramps at those speeds. Let's talk about this steering a little bit. It's actually pretty communicative. The weight is just about perfect. I mentioned earlier the girth of the wheel is really satisfying. Maybe it's these 21 inch wheels but I actually have a really good sense of what the front end is doing and how much grip I have. It's amazing to get into such a, a big uh, 8 Series Grand Coupe and get so much driver feedback. I've always thought that the 8 Series is one of the best BMWs that BMW makes, one of the, their best models, and Alpina just kind of takes it to another level. Let's put us into comfort mode calm things down a little bit. Very fast steering ratio too. You rarely find yourself having to go hand over hand. seats too. Great bolstering for high-speed driving and very comfortable at the same time. A lot of adjustability. All right, let's go back into Sport Plus. Listen to this V8 a little bit more. speed is just incredibly responsive. The shifts are so fast, but there's really not a lot of jerkiness or roughness to them, which I really appreciate. Oh, and we have to do a launch control. Three seconds to 60 probably. That's about as fast as it gets. <laughs> wow, amazing. In Sport and Sport Plus modes, the transmission tuning, especially when you flip the gear lever over into S, is just about perfect. You don't really need to use the shifter buttons behind the wheel. The transmission pretty much just does everything you want it to. Everything in this car is effortless. The speed, the performance is effortless. It's so easy to drive. The four wheel steer turns wheels opposite directions at lower speeds to really kind of tighten that turning circle. And at higher speeds, it turns them the same direction to improve stability. 
All this stuff works in the background. It's seamless. You barely notice it. And what you get out of it is just a fantastic driving experience that also remains comfortable at the same time while completely blowing your mind with the speeds and the performance that the car is offering up. We've got to do another launch control. <laughs> uh, wow. All right, one more. Oh, let's do a brake test too. Exercising more self control. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely my favorite Alpina I've driven to date. Gosh, maybe one of the best BMWs I've ever driven. Mm, a special car indeed. I think if I really only had one complaint, I think the 21 inch wheels don't quite give me enough sidewall for Michigan roads, but they look so good, and I imagine they'd be just fine for perfect roads of the Autobahn that, uh, yeah, it's probably worth the compromise. They are forged, so they're pretty strong. Fuel economy's not bad either. 17 miles to the gallon on the city, 24 on the highway. BMW efficient dynamics at work there. There is really quite a lot to like here with this Alpina B8. We have one of the best infotainments in the industry. I think BMW's iDrive system is just class leading. It's so intuitive to use, it's so easy to navigate. The combination between having a touchscreen and a scroll wheel is just about perfect. Drive modes are pretty simplified. We don't have any M buttons to worry about here. I mean, this is pretty darn good to drive just in comfort mode. You flip the transmission over into sport if you want some more revs, but otherwise the differences in drive modes in this Alpina B8 are pretty subtle. The suspension is very comfortable, expertly tuned for both performance driving and really nice road manners, really comfortable driving over rough roads. Long wheelbase definitely helps with that. Entrance ramp here. Just wicked, wicked cornering grip. <laughs> and with the power this thing has, you need every millimeter of rotor on all four corners of this Alpina V8. There's no mystery. I'm a big fan of what Alpina does to their cars. They take BMWs, and I think they improve upon BMW's M treatment. If you want high performance, a lot of comfort, a lot of luxury, and something that's just a little bit more special feeling, looking, sounding, than your standard fair M car or 850i. This Alpina B8 Grand Coupe is, is the ticket. And same goes for a lot of the other Alpina models. I think uh, BMW's really starting to kind of get back on their game and Alpina is just improving upon that. And uh, it's been a real pleasure to drive some of their cars recently. Check out this four wheel steering around this corner. ridiculous. It's just a, a touch of understeer, but oh man, just awesome. 
How does our assisted driving system work on a back road around a corner? Uh, it's doing a pretty good job. How do our sun visors work? Eh, they're a little bit high. And they don't slide. Oh no. I blame BMW for that. While we're just cruising here, let's test out this Bowers and Wilkins premium sound system. sound systems are fantastic. The one coming from up there and back there, and the one coming from inside the car on the speakers. <laughs> Bowers and Wilkins is actually very impressive. It sounds really nice. I've got to say, I, I haven't spent a lot of time in the 8 Series uh, Grand Coupe, but I think this has got to be one of my favorite cars BMW makes. And that's been the case in the past, too, with previous 6 Series, 8 Series Grand Coupes that I've driven. They just strike this beautiful balance between usability, practicality, and fun, sporty driving. Um, and again, this Alpina just kind of massages a lot of that over, adds a bunch of power, and it's, it's the ticket. It's just such a great, great overall package. And if you have $150,000 burning a hole in your pocket, this is a pretty good way to spend it. All right, we're gonna find a place to park and wrap up this video, but thanks for watching, guys. This has been a really fun week in this thing this week. Uh, it's rained a lot, so I haven't driven it a ton, but in the time that I have spent with it, every mile has been thoroughly enjoyed. I think really, the only other car that I would compare this to is the AMG GT 63 S. Um, and that was one of my favorite cars of 2021. It just blew my mind. And uh, this is blowing my mind in a similar way. <laughs> that was a little bit more of a, a raw sporting experience. And this is a little bit more tuned to luxury and comfort, but the differences are, uh, are subtle and the brutality of the power and performance is still here. Both fine options from the Germans.
right, guys, we'll give you one more walk around of this Alpina B8 Grand Coupe, or Grand Coupe, however you say it, depending on where you're from. And that'll be a wrap. What a fun day in this car. What a fun week in this car. Those cooling fans will go, eh, they'll go on for about 20, 30 minutes. Nice way to warm your garage in the winter. With great power comes great responsibility and heat. Okay guys, that's been a drive in the Alpina B8 Grand Coupe. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.